What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Kai Gibson, a.k.a. Rick Six. And today, we got another bomb to be able to drop on everybody inside of here. You see, I've been seeing so much information go through the internet when it comes to these trade lines, and honestly, like, they very misleading. Right? It's very misleading. It's, it's, it's new information, and then there's old information. A lot of y'all are gathering so much old information from the internet that when you start applying those things, you like, well, damn, I'm not moving fast. So inside of this one video, I plan to be able to give y'all everything you need to be able to know about trade lines, authorized users, and exactly how you boost your personal credit score in order for you to back a business up and get it funded. Now, when I say back a business up and get it funded, we're not talking about uh, a 90 days, a, a 120 day period, no. We're talking about within the next 30 to 60 days, how do you actually go out with a business and get it funded? But going back to trade lines, for my people that are inside the video, before we even go over it, if you're inside, you're paying attention, listening, make sure you definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, that way you'll be notified every time your boy drops a new video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with it. When we are going inside of big financial institutions, right, we plan on actually creating a newly open business or actually going out and getting an age business of, we have to be able to have something to back that business up. And usually that's the personal credit report. Just like similar to if you had a baby that grew to the years of 18 years old and it went out to be able to go out and get its first approval. If it has no financial history, no credit history, they're gonna tell them, hey, listen, you need a personal guarantee on this. You need a co-signer, somebody that can show that they can actually get these things. But how does the co-signer or personal guarantee actually show that they can even go out and get the vehicle, apartment, credit card for somebody else, right? No, excuse me, not credit card, but um, something for somebody else, right? How do they actually show this? This is what we're gonna talk about today. One of the main things that you can use to be able to not only shoot your personal credit score within the next 30 to 60 days are age trade lines. I want to briefly go over exactly what a trade line is. This is nothing. You have two type of forms of uh, what they consider as trade lines, right? You have a primary trade line, which when you go out and gather these, it shows on your personal credit report as this. This is your credit card. You are actually the holder of this account. And then we have something what they consider as age trade lines, where you go over and sign off as an authorized user on somebody else's credit card. Give you an example. If I had a $15,000 credit card, personal credit card, inside of my pocket, and you were somebody just turned 18 years old, you don't have a credit score at all, you know nothing about credit, but you wanted to be able to, you wanted to find the fastest way to boost it up. Well, I can tell you, hey, listen, I got this $15,000 limit on my credit card and I had a positive payment history for at least two years. Let me add you on this card as an authorized user. And now within the next 30 to 60 days, he sees on his personal credit report that, hey, huh, I now got a $15,000 line with two years worth of history on my report. This is what I consider is another form of backdated accounts. I like to tell my people that's going out and getting trade lines, you only want to approach the ones with backdated information when they backdate it. So in other words, if I sign up for it today, within the next 30 to 60 days, they're going to report it as if I had it way longer, two years or even more. Now let me tell y'all why I say two years, why I keep on bringing up two years. All right, the average bank requirements, y'all want to get y'all notes out if you have not got a pen and pad out right now, you probably want to take it out. The three things the bank usually require in order to be able to receive funding, either on the personal side or business, is on your report, you have to have high limits, history, at least two years of history, right? A lot of us don't want to be able to go out and get a new credit card or a new car and have to wait two years to be able to actually prove that we can hold that weight. Fastest way to be able to skip past that 
is actually going over to a straight line because we're able to skip past the line. We don't have to wait the two years. But what takes the average person two years to be able to do, we've did it within 30 to 60 days simply by just having direction like everybody has inside this video. So high limits history. What's the third thing that banks actually require on the personal credit report and also business? They want to make sure that you are not asking every single body for money. How does banks communicate and let uh, the bureaus know that you ask for money? Everything is ran, all banks are ran by three bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, Experience. Now, what it shows up as on your personal credit report is an inquiry. Inquiry says, hey, listen, he just came to us and applied for some money. Now, the bank requirements in order to be able to pull the maximum amount is no less than three inquiries. See, this is how you show that, hey, listen, I'm not money hungry. I'm not asking every single body for money. I'm only asking you. And this is when they actually start throwing the money at you. All right. So we want to make sure we have all three of these components. How we get the history, high limits automatically is by going out to age trade lines, backdated accounts. And we want to make sure that those accounts have a high limit. And when I say high limit, we're speaking 3,500 and over in history, more than two years. As long as we get these two components now and we make sure that they are added on to our personal credit report, we're going to see it shoot up within the next 30 to 60 days. All right. But now that we had a history and we actually have a high limit on our report, like, are we able to get ourselves funded? And this is where everybody fucks up inside of 2024. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. We see the people on the internet that tell us, hey, listen, all you gotta do is be able to get this age trading lines. You go add three of them on your profile and you're gonna see your personal, I mean, you're gonna see your personal credit score shoot up, right? This is what they say. And you see it actually happen. So now you had a 700 credit score, you think you can go out and get yourself funded. That's not the case. You might walk out with a $2,000 credit card, maybe 5,000. But I'm asking y'all, how many of y'all actually want to be able to walk out with a 50K car, right? Like you want to go in the bank knowing that you're going to get the approval because you know what they actually require from you and not walk out with a denial. In order for a strong credit report to be built, to back a business up or even itself, it not only has to have age trade lines on there, it has to have the primaries. See, this is what everybody's missing. The primary accounts actually show that you are holding these credit card accounts. And see, if you got the trade lines without the primary trade lines, God bless you. But see, if you do it the right way, you go over and you make sure you get two to three age trade lines and then you go over and make sure you get at least two to three primary trade lines on your report. See, now is when you become a problem inside of 2024. Cause see, they wanna see those primary accounts. But see, when we go out and we actually try to get our first credit card, right? Most people don't understand that their FICO score is built up through different percentages. And if we go out and get any type of new credit, a new credit card, a new car, all that is only worth 10% of our entire FICO score. It doesn't make a big difference. We don't want to be able to show that we got new credit because it's only 10%. And payment history is at least 35. Once again, we want to make sure that we skip the line. So how we do this once again with primary trade lines, two to three, we want to go after backdated accounts. Only problem most people are missing is the direction to it. What are the accounts that actually backdate the information? Two accounts, I'm going to give you all inside of the YouTube channel. If you listen so far to this end, make sure you are commenting down below, either a fire sign and let me know that you have made it to this section. First one is going to be Tomo primary trade line. When we go over to Tomo, they got three different options for y'all, but I'm going to give y'all one. I'm going to give y'all the biggest option for those people who want to get the highest amount, the maximum amount. It's only one I'm going to give you. They have three different options, but the highest trade line they have to offer for you is a $30,000 trade line with over five years of history reporting to your personal credit report. So that means you can sign up today and within the next 30 days, you can have $30,000 of a trade line and five years worth of history. If your credit score was at zero, 
you see it shoot up. If your history was at zero, you see it shoot to five years within 30 days. So that's the first primary account. Second one, most people think they rent is actually like reporting to their personal credit score, but it's not. I used to think that. I used to think my phone bill probably was reporting to credit, and it's not. You gotta sign up for accounts that actually do that, right? But there's only a few that back they share information, and one of them is actually rent reporters. You go to rent reporters, you simply fill out the information, you give them a, uh, a, a lease agreement, you send them over a lease agreement. Now, regardless on when the lease agreement started, right? I know that's what a lot of people probably wonder, like what if my lease, what if I've only been in my lease for three years, how could they possibly be able to actually do that? They backdate the information by two years. So in other words, if you've only been there three months, it looks like that I actually, when it reports to my personal credit report, I've had this apartment for two years and been paying consistently backdated accounts. So we need to make sure we get at least two to three primary accounts. And this is what's gonna get us to that next level. Once we got the trade lines and then the primary trade lines, this is now when we can hold weight, we can show that we can hold weight on our personal credit report. We're gonna give one play. We're gonna give one play inside of her. Right, we're gonna end this with one play, all right? Everybody that's uh, inside of this section, make sure y'all drop one to run the play down below. All right, this is coming from experience, not information. The best thing you can ever do once you got your personal credit report on point, let's say it's just somebody starting the LLC from scratch, right? You know how to be able to develop it fully. You know how to be able to set the business up completely right. And I show you guys that all throughout my YouTube channel, how to be able to actually create it and not make the mistakes. You wanna approach no documentation banks, banks that are not gonna ask your newly opened business for proof of income and tax returns. So I'm not gonna give you guys a full category of banks, I'm just gonna give you one bank and one direction to be able to go. All right, let's say that we decide to be able to go out to Chase. Chase is a financial institution that actually offers no documentation. So they're not gonna ask a newly open business and we have people within two weeks been able to go to Chase and get their self over 25K. Newly open business. They're not gonna ask you for proof of income or tax returns. So we go to Chase and y'all see a whole category of credit cards, right? This is where y'all gonna probably get confused at. You go on Chase website, you're looking for business credit cards. Oh, which one should I apply for? I'm gonna tell y'all to keep it simple. The 0% interest business credit cards. See, when I apply for those, everybody talking about OPM money, other people's money, but nobody's talking about them not getting charged for spending. See, when you get somebody else's money, you don't want to be charged for spending it. That's the benefit of having somebody else's money. Like, I'm not being charged. I'm investing this money to bring me back even more, and it wasn't even mine. Goddamn. So, 0% interest, business credit cards, Chase does it, American Express does it, U.S. Bank does it. A lot of these big financial institutions do it, right? This is gonna be the ending of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed the information. If you have stuck to the end, make sure you once again type in down below inside that comment section. And if you wanna be able to get with your boy, contact it with your boy and have my services take you guys through it from scratch. And within the next 30 to 60 days, help you and your business get funded. Hit the description down below and you will be able to get direct contact with your boy, all right? It is your boy Rich Secrets, a.k.a. I mean, damn.